Hi, in this tip we're going to show you how to use Always Sync to back up your computer. Now Always Sync is a file synchronization program so it'll let you synchronize from your local hard drive to your backup hard drive. Um, so if you have like a USB drive or a flash drive or even like a network share you can back up to all those places. So what you want to do is first decide what you're going to back up. So in our example we have two drives here. We have the internal D drive which has our music folder on here and we have all these 13 items in here and then on our Z drive which is our backup USB attached drive we have four folders in here so we want to synchronize these two to keep them backed up. So what you got to do is first you want to start a new job let's we'll ignore all the existing ones here so go to job and add a new job and we'll name it by right clicking on it and rename we're gonna call this music and so what you want to do first is pick your source folder which will be in our case this D drive music folder so we're gonna to go to browse and we go down to the D drive and music okay and then on our destination we want to go to our backup Z drive here in the music folder so we're gonna go down there to backup music okay and so now here's the important part since we're going from D to Z we don't want to want to go both ways we want to just go this way so we're gonna click on change and make it so the arrow points to the way we want to go and then also this is key to remember if you want to if you modify a file on this side if you want that modification to take place there you need to check this and if you delete a file here and you want it deleted here you would check this otherwise let's say you deleted stuff here but you didn't want to delete it on your backup just in case you wanted to go back to it later then you would uncheck that but we're gonna keep everything matching exactly so we're gonna propagate modifications and deletions both ways so once you have that set up you just click on analyze and now it'll tell you what it's gonna do and you'll often get this on the first backup saying there's a substantial difference in folders so you could just ignore it because there's a lot more on the source than a destination okay so synchronization is done or the anal actually analysis is done so you can see here we have 164 files 44 are unchanged and I'll tell you which ones are unchanged so as you can see they're on both sides the D and the Z drive drive and then there's new files so it tells you these files here do not exist over here so what it's going to do is it's going to push these files from D to Z which is what we want and this actually shows there's a deleted file which was deleted on this side but is on our backup from last time so we want it to synchronize so when we run this it'll delete it off our backup so it matches our source so once we check everything out and everything looks good we click on synchronize and let it let it do its thing here and you could kinda watch it happening so now everything's done so here's our source and if we go over to our destination you'll notice that it matches now because everything's the same and if we go back here and we analyze again it'll tell us we have 156 unchanged files and 163 all files and you'll notice here you'll get this there's excluded files so by default this program does not synchronize the JPEG files so if you want to do that you would just right click and include either this specific file or JPEGs in general so we'll do that and then we'll click analyze again and you'll notice now we have um, 160 unchanged 163 total one excluded file which is desktop.ini which you never really want to um, synchronize so now we notice we have two two new or not new but two JPEG images that are on our source that were not on our destination so we could synchronize again and now we'll get all the images the JPEGs matched up and so that was done so now if we analyze again we should be looking pretty good 162 unchanged files 163 total but that includes the one we don't want to uh, back up so 
that all makes sense. And so now let's say, well, you know, I don't want this self album here, so I'm going to delete it. And then the next time you go to back up, you go analyze. Oh, now it's going to tell you there's 14 files that have been deleted from the source that you need to delete off the destination and everything else is the same. You got that one excluded file and your 163 total files. So if we synchronize, it's removing it from the destination. So now you notice we don't have it on our source and we don't have it on our destination anymore. So now that's gone. So now you know how to kind of set up your backups. Another couple cool things. If you right click on your job once you're done and you go to properties, you could do stuff like um, change your synchronization rules. You know, if you want to play with the security attributes and change these deletions and modifications that we did, change the direction and include files or exclude files like for the JPEGs and so that kind of thing. And one of the best parts is the automatic synchronization it gives you a ton of options. So let's say whenever you could have always sync run as a service and then whenever you plug in your um, removable drive it'll run a sync or you could have it do it every 30 minutes or whatever or when file changes are detected so it'll kind of be always be watching it and then you could just have it as you do it it'll synchronize it but just be careful that you uh, you know if you delete something on accident on your source it's going to synchronize it to your destination in 10 minutes so if you didn't mean to do it then you're going to have it gone in both places or when the computer is idle on when you open always sync you could have it run or right before you log off you could have it run or this is probably the best way to go is just if you leave your computer on all the time just use task scheduler and make a new job pick your time pick your days and save it and then it'll run in the background and synchronize it for you otherwise if you have uh, multiple jobs you know like we do here you could just go to each one whenever you feel like backing up and hooking up your drive and you know run analysis and then synchronize it and then just do it manually that way it's just really easy compared to dragging and dropping from your computer to your backup drive and hoping you know everything's the same and overriding files and that kind of thing so it just makes it really simple so we'll put a link to the uh, download in the video and you could go check it out for yourself and give it a try since it's free and if you really like it and you got a lot of files and you could just buy the pay for version for 30 bucks or whatever it is and get your backups going and that'll do it thanks for watching